Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy from EverythingIDevice.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you the 10 best tweaks that you can get for your iPad. Now a majority of these tweaks are paid, but in my opinion, these are all the best tweaks you can have. So let's just jump into this and coming in at number 10 is called slider width and it allows you to change the width of your slider on your lock screen. Now I think this is a very cool tweak. I always felt as if the iPad slider was a little too short you know for compensating the larger screen and with this you can simply adjust it to whatever length you like or whatever width I should say and I think it's an awesome tweak. Again, it's called Slider Width and it's free. Coming in at number 9 is a tweak that goes by the name of Barrel. Now I'm sure most of you have heard of Barrel and this tweak costs $2.99 but it's always something that I always enjoy having on my device and it gives you animated page scrolling effects and there is a whole list of different animations you can choose from. This is Curl and Roll Away and again this is Barrel and it is $2.99. Coming in at number 8 is actually three different tweaks that I'm grouping together as one just because they all have the same concept and they are Infini Board, Infini Dock, and Infini Folders. Now they all have the same concept so if you can just kind of follow along here Infini Board allows you to basically make your your springboard vertical and horizontal and you can change how many icons are, are laid out. It can be more than 5x4, it could be 6x5 or 7x5 or 8x8 8 8 or whatever whatever which one do you want to choose. I believe it goes up to 10x10 10 10, so you can really crunch your, your springboard full of apps. Um, then that's basically it. There's a ton of different options for InfiniBoard. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty awesome tweak. And now the next is InfiniDock. It's the same concept, allows you to add as many apps to your dock as you want. You can have it be pages or just scrolling, and you can basically put infinity apps on your dock. And the same concept goes for the folders. You can just add as many apps to your folders as you want. And the reason why I really like these three tweaks is because you can really optimize all the free space you have on your iPad. And uh, yeah, again, that is InfiniBoard, InfiniDoc, and Infini Folders. Coming in at number seven is called iKiwi HD for iPad. Now this tweak is $2.99, but it is definitely a tweak that has a lot of functionality. And what it does is it will add a fifth row to your keyboard, as you can see there. Now this, this fifth row is completely customizable. You can pick what keys they are. If you have emoji, you can even add, you know, little smiley faces. You can totally change the keys. And as you can see, uh, you just click the uh, shift button here and it changes between the two. So here's just one through zero. And then you have the dash and equal sign. And then here is a bunch of the symbols. And I think this is just a very functional uh, tweak to have on your iPad. I use this tweak all the time. And again, it's called iKiwi HD for iPad and it is $2.99. Coming in at number six is Gridlock and Gridlock is 99 cents and all it allows you to do is to place your app icons anywhere on your springboard you want. So I'll just show you as you can see you can just place them wherever you want. That's all it does but it it comes in very handy for an upcoming tweak in this list called Dashboard X it's just an essential tweak and I think it's very cool because you can put your apps anywhere you want without them you know automatically going over it's very cool again it's called gridlock and it's 99 cents coming in at number five is a free tweak and it's called NC settings now this tweak to me is basically the SB settings killer and I just like it because it has a very you know iOS Apple kinda uh, style to it now it's just a notification center widget as you see right here with various system toggles such as Wi-Fi volume, uh, brightness, orientation lock, um, you know, sound, location services, Bluetooth, airplane, power options, respring, um, just a ton of different you know, toggles 
and NC settings is free and it's just a very cool notification center widget and very functional and I like it better than SB settings and again it's called NC settings coming in at number four is called iFile now I believe iFile is $2.99 don't quote me on that I just can't remember it's been such a long time since I've purchased it now iFile is a very essential tool for a jailbreaker and a especially when you're into theming uh, a lot of the advanced themes come with weather widgets where you need to change you know p lists and all that it's just a very handy tool to have on your iDevice you can you know package up dev files change p lists just browse the file systems to you know learn where things are and it's just a very cool tool i will always recommend iFile and again i believe it is 299 coming in at number three is a definite must and it's called spring to mice 2 and it is 299 now this tweak just has a ton of functionality with it it allows you to you know change a ton of different things on your iPad uh, such as animations capabilities your dock you can actually hide your dock hide the reflections hide the labels uh, you have lock screen options you can change your slide to unlock text you can hide your clock bar um, you have icon options you can resize your icons change your springboard layout you have folder options app switcher options time machine status bar pages theming notification center and at the bottom there is more this is definitely a tweak i would tell you to get that's earned its spot in number three spring to my two this is a must and it is $2.99 coming in at number two is called IntelliScreen X now this tweak does have a hefty price of $9.99 but it really makes your notification center pretty crazy if you ask me so as you can see here you have a clock and you have what they call a ticker so let's just scroll to the right you can set up a Facebook so your Facebook uh, uh, feed is going through here you have your Twitter feed so you can and remember it's not just a feed where you read it you can actually open up tweets and retweet it or reply or tweet from here or update your Facebook status you can do all that right from notification center you also have a RSS feed and uh, you can set up you know whatever feeds you want on this as well this is just what is default so you know if you want to add my website RSS feed to your notification center you can and if you want to read the whole article you can just click on it and it will bring it up as reader like so and I think this is just a very cool tweak again it you know is for notification center and again it's called IntelliScreen X there is a ton of settings for it too many for me to cover and again this tweak is hefty in price and it is $9.99 and coming in at number one is a fairly new tweak and it goes by the name of Dashboard X now Dashboard X is $1.99 and it's worth every penny if you ask me so here we go let's check out what Dashboard X can do as you can see you can add notification center widgets to your springboard now as you can see I've just added a crap load of widgets just so you guys can see what it can do and uh, it does have its own um, uh, widgets that are specifically for Dashboard X they're all free uh, as long as you have purchased Dashboard X so be sure to check out those and that's basically what Dashboard X does you can set up a activator method so that it will bring up just the dashboard so it will overlay whatever you're in and your device but I think this is the coolest part is being able to add all this awesome stuff to your springboard now this is obviously something I'm not going to keep on my iPad like this just wanted to show you all of the different widgets that you can add and you know just how much more functional this tweak can make your iPad and again this is called Dashboard X and it is $1.99 and that basically sums up my 10 most favorite essential tweaks for the iPad. Let me know what you guys think about all these tweaks down in the comments. This is Jeremy from everythingidevice.com, and I'll catch you guys later.